Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shwebe Madhav is here with another lecture of the electrical machines and today we are going to discuss the parallel operation of uh, DC shunt generators. So the parallel operation of uh, DC shunt generators can be defined as when the two or more than two number of the generators are connected in parallel with the bus bar so that their polarities must be the same one and their terminal voltages from the generators and the bus bar must be the same one. So let us discuss the conditions for parallel operation for of the DC generators. So there are the two main essential consideration uh, when uh, to be meet when DC generators are to be parallel. Number first is that the all polarities must be correct. So the positive terminals of all the generators must be connected with the positive terminals of the bus bar as you can see from this diagram. This is the G1 generator and this is the G2 generator. So the polarities of the means positive polarity of the G1 generator should be connected with the positive terminal or positive polarity of the bus bar and negative terminal of the G1 generator is connected with the negative polarity or negative terminals of the bus bar. So this is the first condition uh, of the parallel operation of the generator is that all polarities must be the same one. Second is that the terminal voltages of the generators being parallel must be the same. So once shunt generators are put in parallel with the bus bar and adjusted so that they can share the load uh, very satisfactorily and they will continue to operate uh, properly even the load changes means once they are, uh, the generators are connected in parallel with the bus bar. So if the load is very uh, on the generators so they will operate properly if the load is changes. So the natural tendency of the DC shunt generator is that when the load on the generator is increased its terminal voltage fall and also speed is fall. So uh, the, this property tends to ensure the stable operation of the DC uh, shunt generators when they are connected in parallel. Now let us discuss how the generators are connected in parallel with the bus bars so that we will discuss the procedure for connecting the generator in parallel with the and other generator or the bus bar. So now let us discuss the connecting of the shunt generators in parallel. The generators in power plant are connected in parallel through the bus bars okay. and the bus bars are the heavy uh, copper uh, conductors okay. Uh, thick copper conductors uh, or the copper bars uh, so that it can take the electrical power from one incoming feeder and deliver the current to the outgoing feeder. So this is the main definition of the bus bar. So the bus bars are heavy thick copper bars and they act as the positive and the negative terminal as you can see the diagram these are the bus bars and they, they these are the heavy thick copper conductors or heavy thick copper bars they have the positive and the negative terminals. So the positive terminals of the generators are connected with the positive terminals of the bus bar and the negative terminal of the generators are connected with the negative side of the bus bar. So this is the first essential conditions uh, of the parallel operation of the DC generators, DC shunt volt generators is that all polarities of the generators and the bus bar should be the same one. And now this figure, now this is the figure for connecting the here the two generators are connected in parallel with the bus bars. As you can see these are the bus bar positive and the negative this is the G1 generator and this is the field circuit of the G1 generator and this is the main switch which is the main switch of the uh, G1 generator and this is the ammeter uh, A1 which uh, uh, measuring the current which is to be delivered from the uh, G1 generator to the bus bar and this is circuit breaker number 1 of this generator and again this generator is going to be connected in parallel with the bus bar or with the G1 okay to meet the increase the load demand when the generator G1 uh, load is increased uh, beyond its capacity okay. So now this is the field circuit of the generator number 2 okay and this is the S4 of the field switch 4 of the field circuit and this is the G2 okay and now here where while connecting the G2 generator in parallel with the bus bar so the positive terminal of the G2 generator should be connected with the positive terminal of the bus bar and negative terminal of the G2 generator should be connected with the negative terminal of the uh, bus bar. So this is the main switch uh, of the G2 generator S3 and this is the ammeter which is uh, used to measure the uh, current uh, which is to be delivered or which is to be 
produced by the G2 generator and which is delivered to the bus bar and this is the circuit breaker number 2 which is connected with the bus bar uh, with the uh, with the bus bar and even the generator 2 for the protection purpose okay now let's uh, discuss some procedure uh, of the G2 generator now here this G2 generator how G2 generator is going to be connected in parallel with the G1 generator now figure shows the G1 generator connected the bus bars and supplying to the load now in the first figure in this figure uh, now here the G1 generator is connected in parallel and this generator is supplying the current uh, and supply to the load to the bus bars now when the load on the power plant increases beyond its capacity of this generator now if this G1 generator is over loaded due to any reason and uh, the load is uh, increased beyond its capacity of the G1. Now the second generator G2 that should be connected in parallel with the first generator to meet the increase in the load demand. So this is the essential requirements of the generator when they are connected in parallel because to meet the increase in the load demand of the first generator and additional another generator is to be connected in parallel. Okay. So, this is the parallel operation. Now, we are going to uh, discuss some following steps that how G2 generator is connected with the G1 generator in parallel. Now, first is that first point is that the prime mover of the G2 generator is brought up to the relative speed. Now, switch S4 is closed. Now, first procedure is that the prime mover speed of this G2 generator brought up, up to the rated speed okay. and now switch 4 of the field circuit of the G2 generator is to be closed. This is the first step. Now second step is that next the circuit breaker of this G2 generator should be closed okay. and also adjust the excitation of the G2 generator till now adjust the excitation of the field circuit uh, till the generator generator G2 uh, voltage EMF is equal to the bus bar voltage which is to be measured by the voltmeter which is connected in parallel with the G2 generator. So next circuit breaker is closed. Now this circuit breaker is closed and in uh, excitation of the G2 generator is adjusted till its generated EMF is equal to the bus bar voltage. So this can be indicated with the help of the or uh, this terminal voltage or this generated voltage is to be measured or indicated with the help of the voltmeter which is connected in parallel across the terminals of the G2 generator. Now number third step is that now G2 when this generated voltage of the G2 generator is equal to the bus bar voltage now this G2 generator is ready to be parallel with the G1 generator. Okay. Now third step is that now G2 generator is ready to be parallel with the G, G, uh, G1 generator now close the main switch S3 now close the main switch S3 and putting the generator G2 in parallel with the G1. Now when we are closing this S3 switch now this G2 is generator will be uh, in parallel connected in parallel with the G1 generator and now in this condition when the generated voltage of the G2 generator is equal to the bus bar voltage. So the generator G2 is not supplying any load. So this state can be called as the floating state means note the generator G2 is not supplying any load why uh, because its uh, terminal uh, its, uh, bus bar voltage is equal to the uh, G2 generator voltage uh, they are the same one so generator is to be said to be in, in, in the floating state not supplying any load to the bus bars. Number fifth uh, fourth point okay fourth point is that if the generator G2 deliver any current to the bus bars. So, its generated voltage should be greater than the bus bar voltage okay. means if the G2 generator is deliver any current to the bus bar now its generated voltage should be greater than its bus bar voltage in this case the current supply by it is can be the difference of the generated voltage and the terminal voltage divided by the resistance of the armature circuit of the G2 generator by increasing the field current. 
now how we can increase the generated voltage of the g2 generator uh, how it can be increased with the help of by increase the field excitation of the g2 generator so that it can be easily uh, uh, adjust by the field excitation with the help of the field circuit and then this emf which is to be produced from the g2 generator is greater than the uh, bus power voltage so obviously the generator 2 can be made to supply the proper amount of the load to the bus bar okay number fifth point is that the load may be shifted now the load may be shifted from the g1 generator to another generator okay by merely adjust the field excitation of the generator the load may be shifted from one shunt generator to another shunt generator by adjusting its field excitation so thus if the generator g1 is to be shut down okay due to any reason if this uh, g1 is shut down uh, while the whole load is to be uh, shipped on to the g2 generator and provided it has the capacity to supply the load now if the g2 is a uh, generator is connected to be connected in parallel with the bus bars and now g1 generator is to be shut down now the load can be shifted from the g1 generator to the g2 generator provided it has the capacity to supply the load now in that case reduce if you want to shut down the g1 generator now it's very easy now the reduce the current which is to be supplied by the e generator number 1 uh, uh, which is to be detected through the emitter A1 that is equal to the 0. So, this will be indicated by the emitter which is connected in series with the G1 generator and open the circuit breaker number 1 and also open the main switch S1. So, this generator is going to be isolated from this bus bar and now the G2 generator is connected in parallel and deliver the load current to the supply bus bars. Okay. Now, let us discuss the advantages of the DC shunt generators when they are connected in parallel. Number first is that the continuity of the service. If single large generator is used in the power plant, then in case of its breakdown the whole plant will be shut down. For example, if the plant is comprised of a single generator, if the fault is occur in a G1 generator due to any reason then the whole plant will be shut down. Now, however, if power is supplied from the number of the small units operating in parallel in the case of the failure of any one unit. So, what happened the continuity of the supply can be maintained through by other units. So, this is the first advantage which is the continuity of the service. Okay. Now, the second advantage is the maintenance and the repair. Generators are generally require the routine maintenance and the repair. Therefore, if the generators are operated in parallel. So, the routine or emergency operation can be performed by isolating the affecting generator while the load is being supplied by the other unit. So, this leads both the safety and the economy. For example, the two generators are connected in parallel the G1 and the G2 generator. Now, if the routine maintenance and repair operation are to be performed on the G1 generator, so isolate the G1 generator from the G2 generator and the load is being supplied by the G2 generator to the bus bar. So, this is to be leads to the safety and the economy. So, this, these were the advantages of the parallel operation of the DC shunt generators that continuity of the service and the maintenance and the repair. So, this was the lecture regarding the DC uh, uh, shunt wound parallel DC shunt wound generator parallel operation with the bus bar. So, that the conditions for the parallel operation of the DC generator is that all polarities must be the same one or the correct means the positive terminals of all the generator must be connected with the positive terminals of the bus bar and the negative terminals of the generators are to be connected with the negative terminals of the bus bar and the terminal voltages of the generators. Um, and is to be being parallel is the same one as that of the bus bar voltage. Now, also we have discussed the procedure for connecting the G2 in parallel with the G1. Number first step is that the prime mover of the G2 generator is brought up to the rated speed. Now, switch S4 is closed, which is 
to be the switch of the field excitation circuit. Number second point is that the circuit breaker of the G2 generator is closed and excitation of the G2 generator is uh, uh, is increased till its generated EMF, its generated voltage of the G2 generator is equal to the bus bar voltage which is to be measured by the voltmeter. Number third uh, step is that now the G2 generator is to be ready to be connected in parallel with the G1 generator. Now close the main switch S3. Now in this condition the generated voltage of the G2 generator and the bus bar voltage is the same one. So this is called as the floating state because in this condition the generator G2 is not supplying any load to the bus bars. And number fourth step is that if, if we want to G2 generator is to deliver any current to the bus bar. So its generated voltage should be greater than the bus bar voltage. So this generated voltage can be increased with the help of the field excitation of the generator okay uh, g2 generator so this was the parallel operation of the dc shunt volt generator i hope that you have understand the today's lecture at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shobhi for more informative videos uh, related to the electrical engineering area thank you